right now i want to make a short video my honest thoughts on rx 9070 xt i have been using this video card for two months and i upgraded from the legendary rtx 3060 so quickly first let's talk about 3060 because we need to compare it to something so 3060 is a very good video card for 1080p gaming, also for Quad HD gaming if you're using performance mode and of course DLSS. However, I bought a 4K TV and in that case it will be not enough to play games in 4K. So RTX 3060 is a very good video card. First of all, it's very quiet video card. It doesn't consume a lot of energy. It gives a decent performance in most of the games, most of the titles it supports a lot of games developers like to optimize drivers for nvidia video cards and uh, perhaps that's all for rtx 3060 i love it and by the way it has 12 gigabytes of vram so now let's talk quickly about rx 9070 xt so First of all, when I bought this video card, I just noticed that I need to upgrade my whole system, the processor, the power supply. The only thing that I didn't upgrade is my RAM. So the RAM is still the same. And uh, sorry, the case of the PC is also the same. But what I upgraded is the motherboard, the CPU. So I upgraded my CPU from Intel Core i5 14400F to i7 1270 kf some of you may think that it's kind of downgrade because i downgraded the gen of the cpu however i7 12700 kf is more powerful and uh, you can overclock that cpu and also this cpu doesn't have issue related to the 14 gen processors so more about this video card first of all this is a budget version probably one of the most cheapest version that you can get on the internet. This is Asus Prime. By the way, it has three fans. You can connect it to your power supply by using eight pin, but it has uh, three connectors. I don't think it's a bad thing. It's more benefit because there is a lot of info on the internet that those new connectors are burning with new GPUs and with 9070 XT as well. So my first impression, this video card is loud. Yeah, because if you do not tweak any options and uh, you start the game in 4K and if your monitor or TV support high refresh rate, you will definitely will hear a cooling whine and the noise of the fans. So that's my first impression because with RTX 3060, I didn't have any problem like that. And uh, sorry, because first of all, I will talk about the downsides of this GPU. So yeah, the more powerful GPU you have, the more annoying noises you also may have, and especially if it consumes a lot of power. In my case, I think the GPU consumes 330 watts, but I fixed the noises, and after tweaking some options, this GPU became like 80 to 85 percent more quieter. So quick spoiler, I undervolt and uh, I reduce the power consumption of this GPU through AMD Adrenaline software. This software is like by default if you install it from the AMD driver website and then you will get that uh, software to tweak a lot of options in your GPU. As a final result, the power consumption also was reduced from 330 watts to 220 watts. By the way, if you want to see more videos about 9070 XT, please leave the comments below. Also, I want to know that the software sometimes can be messy. What I mean that if you want to upgrade to the newer version, you may have some issues. For example, after I upgraded the GPU driver, I had some explanation mark for no reason and I thought that uh, my GPU is broken and it has some problems. However, after I used the utility, it's some utility from AMD that doing a fresh, a clean uninstalling of the older driver and then you can install a new fresh driver. So after I did it, all error was gone. And of course, after that, the GPU worked fine. And also now I don't have any serious problem with this GPU. So that's all. Now let's talk about the benefits. I have some notes just to make it easier so performance yes it performs very good it's um i will not say it's a 
budget video card I think is performed like a really high-end GPU. If you're using FSR4, a lot of games you can play in 4K, a lot of popular games like Silent Hills F, The Last of Us 2, God of War, you can play a lot of different games. I just forget to mention that not all games support FSR 4, however each day developer giving us more updates and now you can play a lot of games or you can activate FSR 4 through the software or you can use other utilities like OptiScaler. So RX 9070 XT is a very powerful video card if you want to play high-end games in 4K by using FSR and uh, yeah it giving a decent performance and of course it's much better deal than 4070 Ti because the price difference is quite noticeable when you're doing some editing stuff uh, when you're working with 3D applications so 5070 Ti will be probably superior and also a lot of developers of the software like to optimize drivers first of all for Nvidia and then for AMD. I'm not talking about games, I'm talking about other softwares like Adobe, DaVinci, etc. Also there is one big benefit for 9070 XT over 4070 Ti that it works much better with Linux. Personally I do not use Linux but a lot of users saying that uh, this GPU works good so you can just install it and uh, probably use it without any problem. You can use 4070 Ti as well on Linux but from what I heard it's a headache and you need to tweak a lot of options before you can use it normally. So my final conclusion, I can't say much about this GPU right now because I'm using it like for two months, but in the future I will give you a long-term review about this GPU. But as for today, I think this is a very great GPU. It performs very well. The price is decent. The price is perfect. Also, you can decide what edition do you want to buy, uh, from which manufacturer you want to buy. Honestly, there's a lot of decent deals. However, I just bought the cheapest version and I don't have any problem with it. I mean, it has a dual BIOS, it has three fans and it performs as a normal 9070 XT. So honestly, you will not get some extra performance if you will buy a high-end version of the 9070 XT like uh, Aorus or Asus Rex Trix. Probably you will get better cooling system. I think cooling wine is a lottery. You will may have it or not. It will depend um, on your luck. And actually that's all. Honestly, I like 9070 XT. I think it's a decent video card and I hope I will not upgrade my GPU at least for five years. If this video was helpful, please like it. Also, I recommend watching this video, how to overclock 3060 and make it more powerful than 4060.